and shake the whole body. Let's loosen up the waist. Feel like your feet are glued to the floor. Waist is relaxed, upper body is light and follows where the waist leads it. Now bring the feet together and we'll loosen up the knees. And change direction. And now the ankles. And change direction. the other foot. And change direction. Okay, if you saw the message I sent out this afternoon, reminder for this week, I included a uh, couple of paragraphs about the role of the kidneys in, uh, as traditional Chinese medicine looks at the role of the kidneys in your health. So, uh, but actually I need to send you guys the full document on the winter season. Uh, so, um, one of the things we have to be concerned about in the winter is depression. Because, of course, you can see now it's like 6 o'clock, 5.30 even, and it's already dark. Uh, and the advice is to guard against depressive thoughts taking over your thinking and to find some things to engage in that make you feel good. So just guard against the uh, tendency of the winter and the cold weather to depress your thinking. Of course, there's certain people who have that uh, seasonal affective disorder that resort to those light banks uh, to see if that helps them deal with the fact that the darkness is particularly depressing to them. Okay, we, can, uh, we continue with kidney qigong, um, and we'll go through the uh, winter season again. So we have four movements in the winter season set from the Four Seasons Medical Qigong. Um, two hands hold the toes, Phoenix opens its wings, turn the head to look at the moon, and a large bear softens its waist. So we'll start with the uh, 
two hands to hold the heavens to strengthen the waist and kidneys. We stand with feet about hip width apart, interlock the fingers. Oh, excuse me, <laughs> wrong set. We don't interlock the fingers. Inhale and exhale. Try to feel like your energy smoothing out from the Dantian up and down. Hold this position and inhale. Exhale, bend down, grab knees, ankles, or toes, the farthest you can reach, and pull up to gently stretch the muscles over your kidneys. And while you're holding this stretch, breathe in and breathe out. Then breathe in and come up and exhale and make the healing sound chue. Now, as you exhale, remember to uh, kind of sink your energy down. Uh, the feeling would be like if you were standing waist deep in water and you had a float here, you would just be pushing it into the water. So definitely a sense of pushing down, but nothing that would make you tense up. So, okay, um, and the recommendation for um, most of the exercises in the Four Seasons Qigong is six to 12 repetitions. So inhale, exhale, inhale, bend down and exhale, pull up, Inhale, exhale, inhale, straighten up, exhale, and tray. Healing sound in and out. In. Out to bend down. Pull up, in, out. Inhale, straighten up. Exhale and tray. In and out. In, out, bend down, back as straight as possible. Pull up, in, out. Inhale, straighten up. Exhale. In and out, in, out, bend down, pull up, in, out, inhale, straighten up. Exhale, chue. In and out. In. Out to bend down. Pull up. In. Out. Inhale, straighten up, and tray. In and out. In, out. In. Out, 
in, straighten up, and out, in, and out, in, out, pull up, in, out, in, straighten up, out, tray. Now, let me watch you do that for a couple of uh, repetitions because it's hard to see in that bent over position. <laughs> okay, so uh, inhale, exhale, in, out, and bend down. In and out. Inhale, come up. Exhale and sway. And one more time. So in and out. In, out and bend down. In and out. Inhale, come up. Exhale and tray. Okay, questions on that one? Assuming that exhale is always with the mouth? Exhale is always with the mouth? Yes. Um, Unless instructions say otherwise, that you go and breathing should always be inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Yeah. And particularly, of course, when we're using the sound, it has to be through the mouth, otherwise no sound. So, uh, you know that as we bend down and pull up, we tense the muscles here over the kidneys, so that gives them a massage from well, I would say <laughs> above because we're bent over like this, okay. Um, then as we hold this position, uh, pulling up with, on the toes, and we inhale and we exhale, that drops the diaphragm down, massaging the adrenal glands and the kidneys, which are located right below the diaphragm. And so that gives them a massage from well, if we were standing upright, it would be from above, but we're bent over, so it's this direction. Anyway, they get sort of a double um, massaging effect, which, remember this, like the whole basis of uh, most of the Qigong is we manipulate the body tissues or organs. The cells get excited when they're manipulated and generate local qi in the organ and the surrounding tissues. And then when we straighten up, exhale, and if we're using the sound, when we make the sound, this releases and helps to break up any chi stagnation in the channels associated with the organ or parts of the body that we're working on uh, and helps to restore smooth circulation through the body. And when the chi can circulate smoothly through the body, when the chi is abundant and can circulate smoothly, you'll be healthy. So yeah, that's what's going on in the next three, uh, but with different uh, movements, different positions. So we come to Phoenix opens its wings. And for this one, a little bit wider than shoulder width stance, uh, we're gonna bend about 90 degrees, and we'll reach across with the right hand and grab the outside of the left knee, and we're gonna twist, pull with the hand on the knee, and your left hand pointing fingers straight up towards the ceiling and 
home facing inward, not outward, but inward. Uh, so breathing pattern. Gonna, from here, inhale, start to turn. Exhale, finish the turn. Now hold the position and inhale. Exhale, start back to center. Inhale, we're in the even position now. Exhale, start to turn and finish the turn. Hold this twisted position, inhale. Exhale, start back to center. Inhale at center. And reach across, exhale and twist. Inhale, hold the position. Exhale, start back to center. Inhale in center position. Exhale, reach across and twist. Inhale, hold the twist. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale in center position. Exhale, reach across and twist. Inhale, hold the twist. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale in center position. Exhale, reach across and twist. Inhale. Exhale, start back to center and straighten up. And when you feel the area around your kidneys relax, make the healing sound. So remember that we can't use the healing sound when, well, we can use the healing sound when the muscles are tense, but it won't work. Okay, so uh, we need to have the muscles relaxed when we make the healing sound. And of course, you put your mind in the kidneys in this case, and just imagine energy spreading out. And you can also imagine excess heat coming out the mouth along with stale chi. Let's do another round of three if Phoenix opens its wings. Questions on this so far? No? Okay. Um, yeah. So bent 90 degrees. Inhale. Exhale, reach across a twist. Turn the head, look up at the ceiling too. Inhale. Exhale, start back to center. Inhale in the center position. Exhale, reach across and twist. Inhale, hold the position. Exhale, start back to center. Inhale in center position. Exhale, reach across and twist. Inhale, hold the position. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale in center position. Exhale, reach across and twist. Inhale. Exhale, start back to center. Inhale in center position. Exhale, reach across and twist. Inhale, hold the twist. Exhale, start back to center. Inhale in center position. Exhale, reach across and twist. Inhale, hold the twist. Exhale, come back to center, straighten up, and healing sound. Okay, let me watch you guys do that a couple of times. So, uh, we we'll start off in the bent 90 degrees position. Inhale. Exhale, reach across and twist. Inhale, hold the position. Exhale, start back to center. Inhale in center position. Exhale, reach across the other side and twist. Inhale, hold the twist. 
Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, reach across. Excuse me, inhale in center position. Exhale, reach across and twist. Inhale, hold the twist. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale in center position. Exhale, reach across and twist. Inhale, hold the twist. Exhale, come back to center, straighten up and healing sound. Okay. Questions on Phoenix opens its wings. Okay, so. Um, I don't think there's anything I need to add to that. Um, in the first exercise, two hands hold the toes. There's more for me to show you. So I'm trying to uh, not add too much at once, but there is more to that one. The Phoenix, it's pretty much as it's done as we just did it. Now, turn the head to look at the moon. So this one, oh, shoulder width stance to begin with, and um, lift up the hands, inhale, exhale, turn to the side, hold the position, inhale, exhale, start back to center, and when you feel your lower back relax, Chue, healing sound. Inhale, exhale, turn to the other side. Inhale, exhale, start back to center and chue. In, out, in, out, start back to center, chue. In and out, in, out, start back to center, chue, in and out, in, start back to center, chue, in and out, in, start back to center, chue. Question so far. Um, so as we're turning to the side, remember to try to keep your knees straight ahead. So don't turn with the knees. So if you find your feet like twisting up on the sides like this, don't do that. That's very hard on the knee. So the knee should stay straight ahead. Twisting done in the waist and hips. Um, and remember, it's you raise your right hand, you turn to your left. You raise your left hand, you turn to your right. Otherwise, the kidneys don't get much of a stretch. So let me turn this way and oh, I'll move over to the mirror. Um, and uh, let me do a couple here uh, so you can see me from the rear. So, in, out. So turn as far as you comfortably can without twisting your knees. Hold the position in, out. Start back to center. And here, I'm relaxed. Chue. In, out. In, out, come back to center, chue, in, out, in, start back to center, out, chue, in, and out, in, start back to center, chue, in, and out, 
in, start back to center, and tray. Okay. Yeah, so there's a second part to this one, but we'll save that for the next time. Um, and then we go to the last one in the winter season, which is the large bear softens its waist. And um, if we look at the order of the exercises, the large bear softens its waist has to be last. That, that's uh, important that it come last because it is leading the chi out. So the other three are generating chi. And you say, well, if you can't remember the order, the two hands hold the toes is probably the easiest on the kidneys, the easiest in terms of the uh, manipulation of the lower back and kidneys, because it's just bending and pulling up. Whereas with the Phoenix, we're doing a lot of, we're doing bending and twisting. And then with the uh, turn the head, look at the moon, we're also doing a pretty good twist. So usually the order is the least strenuous in terms of the physical movement, chi generation, followed by increasing uh, strenuousness. And then the massaging, uh, that's, and the leading the chi out, that's last in the, in the sequences. So that's, you know, if you put, turn the head to see the moon ahead of Phoenix, no big deal, right? Uh, but if you did the large bear softens its waist first, then that would be putting the cart before the horse with equal consequences because nothing would work right. <laughs> okay, so now large bear softens its waist. Uh, so we're going to make loose fists with the, with, well, make loose fists. <laughs> and we're going to tap and try to reach up here, uh, right below the diaphragm. That's where the kidneys start and tap down the kidneys, converge and, uh, now, wait a minute, I'm forgetting the first part. So the first part of this is make a, make a tight fist with your left hand, place it over your right kidney and push your back into the fist and the fist into the back. We'll do this 12 times. You can exhale as you push back. Okay, now the right fist over the left kidney. 12 times, push the fist into the kidneys and the kidney into the fist. Okay, so that's the first part. And now we do the tapping massage, the pi da, to lead the, start leading the chi down and out of the kidney area. And uh, remember that the kidney chi uh, goes down in order to get into the uh, chi circulation system. The kidney chi is yin and called water chi, stored in the kidneys. Water chi sh should balance fire chi. So fire chi is in the heart and the middle dantian here, the solar plexus. So kidney chi does not go directly to the middle dantian or up towards the heart. It goes downward to get into the circulation and then it will go upward to interact with the uh, fire chi and balance the body's yin and yang. So you don't want too much yin, you don't want too much water chi. Uh, more likely, 
thing to happen, particularly as you're younger, is you get too much fire chi. And uh, you need to cultivate the kidney chi to cool down the fire chi. So now we make loose fists and we tap. So we're tapped down from the top of the kidneys, then converge on the Ming Men gate. So Ming Men gate is right at the same level as your navel. It's on the governing vessel. And if you're lumbarly oriented, it's between lumbar two and lumbar three, if that helps. Then we'll tap down from Ming Men down the sacrum, and then we'll separate the fists and tap on down the center of the buttocks. So we do kidneys, Ming Men, sacrum, and buttocks. Always downward. And about 12 times should do it. Now, there's one more thing we can do um, is rub the palms together to generate heat in the palms. And then we'll massage downward like this.